Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Shauna Christmas here, bringing you the news with cussing. Now, I know there's been a lot of news breaking in the past week or so, and it's hard to keep track of. There's so many things happening. It's hard to know what to pay attention to, but I got you covered. So be sure to subscribe to this channel, and I'm going to catch you up on what you may have missed. Let's go. Florida lawmakers pass a bill allowing for radioactive material to be built into Florida roads making Florida man more powerful than ever before. Did anyone consult with Imagine Dragons before proposing this bill in Florida? I mean, they are radioactive. In news that doesn't surprise most people, Stop the Steel organizer apologizes after being accused of asking teen boys for dick pics. Isn't it funny how the ones that always call people groomers and things like that are the ones that get found doing things that I don't know, groom children. A Tennessee hotel night manager has been charged after a guest woke up to him sucking on his toes. Mm. David Neal, the night manager, reportedly told officers that he went into the guest's room because he could smell smoke. Maybe he meant he thought that guy's toes were little smoky Vienna sausages and had to just put the fire out with his mouth. I'm actually quite surprised that this guest didn't like secure the door with the little bolt thingy so he couldn't get in. Like, what kind of hotel was this? Didn't have a deadbolt? That's insane. No deadbolt? I'm pushing everything up against that wall. The refrigerator, the couches, anything that moves is going up against that door. Have you guys heard about this? Getting zombied is the new dating trend and it's worse than ghosting. For those of you who do not know, ghosting is when you're talking to somebody, maybe you go on a date and then they just stop talking to you. No word, no closure, no nothing. You just get ghosted. And zombieing, I guess, is when they disappear for a little bit and then they show up a few months later with some you up type bullshit. Learning what zombieing is, I think I zombie people too, but I only do it once a year on their birthday. I'm like, hey, happy birthday. Want to see my nudes? And in more dating news, Tinder's most swiped right man is helping ugly men find love with AI. This guy is charging ugly people between 45 and 150 bucks and gives them access to Bespoke, an AI to compose more appealing dating profiles. He uses this design technology to enhance their images and uses ChatGPT to ghostwrite attractive bios and messages. And if the enhancement of the photos doesn't work, he suggests you take this newly AI-generated profile message and just overlay that bad boy right over your ugly face. In this week's phonetic fuck-ups, we got a Facebook post from somebody that I actually know, a friend of mine. Oh, I'm so sad. He's never gonna watch this, so it doesn't matter. But this is what my friend Jarvis said on Facebook recently. Fellas, if she got waist beads, don't waste your time. And as you can see, he's got those waists mixed up. He was this close to being right and having a funny line, but everybody just made fun of him in the comments. He kept it up. What a brave soul. In this frequently asked questions segment, I'm gonna swish it up a bit. I am a single woman and I'm child free, having a great time for the most part. And I get asked often why I don't want kids, but I wanna ask the parents, why are y'all having kids? Seriously, have you seen the planet? I mean, have you seen the schools, shootings and things? I would be terrified to bring a kid into this world. I'm terrified myself. And some people say, oh, Shauna, what would you have done if your mom didn't want you? I would have done nothing. Wouldn't be here, dude, I don't know. It's not my business. What kind of question is that? If you had children on purpose, I would love to know for what? <laughs> exactly. I'm not, I'm laughing, but I just think that most of us are accidents that we just got kept. I don't think a lot of us are planning on it. There are a few. So if you did plan, let me know in the comment. That's going to do it for this week's episode. Thanks for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if not, I don't want to hear your negative comments. Go away. Feed it. Scram. Go find someone to date you, weirdos. See you next time. Bye-bye.